smoke from huge bushfires in Australia is drifting as far as New Zealand, 2,000 kilometres, 1,200 miles, away, leading to haze and a burnt smell in the air. Australia is grappling with the bushfire crisis fueled by record-breaking temperatures and months of drought. The smoke first reached New Zealand's South Island on 31st of December, turning skies a murky yellow. Since then, the South's famous glaciers have vanished and haze and even North Island has seen its skies turn eerie. At least 18 people are confirmed to have been killed by the bushfires, which have burned vast areas of several Australian states. Several people are still missing and conditions are expected to worsen over the coming weekend. Blue skies turn yellow. I have never seen anything like the haze over the past 48 hours, Arthur McBride of Glacier Tour Company Alpine Guides told the BBC. Tourist flights up to Tasman, Franz Joseph and Fox glaciers are a popular way to experience New Zealand's stunning mountain scenery. But in recent days visitors have endured a thick yellow haze, instead of the white snow and bright blue skies expected. Wednesday afternoon was particularly bad, Mr. McBride says, and the smell of wood smoke is still distinct. It's been hazy for the past 36 hours, it's been a smoky haze, explains Dan Burt of Mount Cook skip planes and helicopters. In fact, we've seen some discoloration on the glacier since a few weeks ago, so that was actually already before the haze of the past days. His company runs tour and flights to several glaciers in the region, including the main Tasman Glacier. Over the past days, a few trips had to be cancelled, he said. It still would have been safe to fly, but it just wouldn't have been a great experience to be up there. An Australian woman visiting Franz Joseph photographed how dust from the bushfires had caramelized in mountain snow, turning it brown.